everybody. My name is Matthew from the San Francisco Art Exchange, and I just wanted to take a moment to share uh, some thoughts on one of my favorite photographs that we have here in the gallery, this Jim Marshall signed photograph of John Coltrane being interviewed at Ralph Gleason's house in Berkeley, California, uh, around 1960. What I love about this photograph, it's historical uh, importance in jazz history, especially, of course, with John Coltrane. 1960 was a really big and powerful year for him as an emergence as a solo artist. Uh, he found his fame and his true footing with the Miles Davis group, especially with the release and the commercial success of Kinda Blue in 1959. Other notables in that group, Bill Evans, Cannonball Adderley, all started to have solo careers, uh, prominent solo careers around this time. John Coltrane's no exception. He was mastering the soprano saxophone, which would become one of his signature voices, and he uh, had a record deal with Atlantic Records and was about to put out uh, an, import, an important record, My Favorite Things. Uh, here we have him in one moment, one simple moment, thinking, looking off into the distance, uh, thinking who knows what, but I just find it truly astounding that one second in John Coltrane's life looks so incredibly deep. Jim Marshall, the photographer, was a Rolling Stone photographer for over 50 years. He won a Grammy posthumously for all of his work. He passed away uh, around six years ago this March, and his signed photographs are very scarce and rare and sought after for what he had accomplished as a photographer. So this image to me is an amazing meeting of two worlds. You know, the greatest rock and roll photographer of all time, and in my opinion, the greatest jazz mind. Uh, meeting in one beautiful moment here.